How's it going, everyone? Well, got my Vessel View mobile module today. That's it. Those are the instructions. I'm on page four of eight of the instructions. Step one is to locate that device. Obviously, that doesn't look anything like my motor. My motor. This is for the Heritage on the 40 Mercury. So, just a heads up. Those of us that have the Heritage motor, we got a deal on it is the one that I'm going to attempt to install here. What I'm looking for is this elusive piece that they're talking about. Well, a little bit of searching on the internet, just like you just did, was able to find where it's at. This is the forward part of the motor. I took the lid off. I'm assuming most of you guys already know how to take the lid off. If you don't know how to take the lid off, don't do this. All right. <laughs> so, trying to keep this angled at the right angle, so you guys can see. This little connector that they're referring to is this yellow one right there. So I'm gonna pull that bad boy out and we'll see if this connects good. Okay, so kind of saw what was going on. I understood to take this off. This is just a little plastic thing. You don't take that off. This little thing right here goes in here so it allows it to slip in and slip out and then you pull it out and then you have full access so just heads up kind of just kind of up or down and then it comes out I think it's down and then it comes off just slides off of this piece right here and then you have access to remove what they're referring to as this connector kind of push down on that comes off you know what I mean there you go okay so according to the instructions if I'm correct I would say the out of the two, one sticker and the other. Get the thick one. Put that guy in there. And then take this guy off. Put this guy on. Bingo. You're set. Okay. So once you have that piece out and you mount it on the on the skinny side, mount the yellow piece on the skinny cable. Fat piece is gonna go in there. I unplugged it to just test it. And then what I did is, as you can tell, so that way I could show you how it comes off point down and pull down, comes off the slot, this slot right here. So I'm gonna put it back on so it's easier to insert back on because if you try to insert it with this guy on it's just going to be too too difficult so just go ahead and just um, slide it back in the way it was and sometimes you just got to get it right, lined just the right way which takes a little bit of maneuvering but trust me you want to do this you don't want to leave anything loose okay so there we go get the connector put this guy back in there he's good we got a solid connection there we're good now the next thing is to route this guy up all this up okay so what we're going to do is going to route it now here see that hole there's a little a little plastic little panel here what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount this here on this only one mounting the other the other side doesn't have anything you know what I mean so you can use velcro or you can you know tie wraps or whatever you want what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that hole and I'm gonna or I'm gonna mount it right there I'm not gonna use the same hole obviously but what I'm gonna do is just kind of drill there and then get this thing mounted flush here so watch if I move this little hose out of the way and let's pretend I got everything lined up I'm going to get that butt, look at that guy right there. And that's where he's going to sit. So let me go ahead and work on that. And I'll show you how I routed all the wires neatly in the bottom to make sure I don't get any moving parts down there. I've got that little rod there. It's kind of, I'm worried about that. I just want to make sure I don't disturb it. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so guys and gals, you never know. Um, screws right here. Know what I mean? So that's where I mounted it. Put the screw in there. The hole, the original hole, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but let me see if I can shine some light. 
See, that's the original hole. I went a little higher. Why? Because this cable, this, this hose down here needs to be able to go through there. So I wanted to make sure it was still like it before, you know, like no, I didn't want to alter that at all. So I just kind of just made sure I moved that uh, device, the module thing, a little higher. So I moved this up so it could clear, so this could clear and then sure enough go through here. So everything's fine. Had a little difficult time trying to get the screwdriver in there lined up pretty good, but it, it worked. And it's up to you guys. I mean, some of you guys might have the tool, um, well, the parts or the, you know, you can kind of use that hole instead and just put a nut and washer on that and then you can do it. But then it might go a little lower and you, that hose might not clear. So in addition to that, that's basically how I route it. So heads up when you're routing the cable, route the fat one first, put that one down, and then put the skinny one on above it. You know what I mean? So it just stays there. And that's it. So next thing is to see if this thing actually works. All right? That'll be it for right now. Okay, looks like I finished everything. I was able to download the app, and sure enough, it connected. A couple of things to remember when you're using this app. Um, you know, there it is. It, that light stays blinking. I said it comes off after a certain time. The way I got it to start blinking is I forced quit the app and it started blinking. So I guess it's waiting for a Bluetooth connection when there is no Bluetooth connection available. But the, the key's off. I don't think it'll drain the battery, but I'll keep an eye on that and keep you guys posted. All right. So, and final things that what I did is, let me see if I can turn on the light here to show you guys. I put the, that, the skinny cable routed it over that little hose thing and then just kind of stuck it in there so that's where that ended up at the rest runs around there and it goes into the into this which is fine when you download the app and you're registering it it asks for the serial number of the motor i don't know why i didn't know where that was but anyway i finally found it come down here <clears throat> that's it right there so now you know where to find the serial number and complete the registration process of the motor so, uh, good to go. Well, keep you guys posted on how it works out there in the water. Take it out later today.